talking about. Just when I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! ah. Got it! Holy crap! Wilma already got a fish for I was even done carrying everything down the hill. Hadn't even been here a minute yet. We got here before the sun came up. Already got her first white bass on a sour apple. Green flicker shad. All right, I'll get pliers. There's a bucket in the car. You'll have to go up and get it. You'll have to go up and get it. It's a nice little white bass. Behind the Behind the, it's in the back seat by itself. All right, guys, that's not a bad little white bass for just getting here. The river is finally exactly where I like it, where those middle rocks are showing and it's clear. All right, sour apple flicker shad, Berkeley flicker shad number seven. About a pound white bass, it's a nice little one. Good start to the morning. We're gonna go all day. We're gonna fish for white bass right now till about 10 o'clock, so about three hours. Leave here and go set limb lines somewhere else for flatheads. Two different times. We're gonna set them right at one o'clock and then lure fish and worm fish for channels, warm mouth crappie, bass for about four hours and then at five o'clock I'm gonna check my limb lines again and then set them out again and then we're gonna stay till nine o'clock at night. Check them about an hour after dark again. All right guys, I'm gonna get rigged up and get out here on the water. I'm going out in the canoe and she just wants to stay from the bank. So uh, I see that being a problem. We're gonna be in each other's way probably. <sighs> There we go. Oh, got something nice here, guys. It ain't a white bass. Definitely not a white bass. It's acting like a catfish. Oh, it's a big gar. Holy moly. Whoa. Whoa. Really big. Oh, my gosh. A big long nose. <laughs> oh my God, he's like the upper 30s. All right, I'm gonna have to sit down to get this guy. My goodness, what a big gar. Big old long nose, guys. I think I'm just gonna get a good view of him without holding it and uh, get, the, get him out with the pliers. Honey. 
All right, guys, we're gonna get it back in. <sighs> what a horse. What a horse. Woo! Wow. Slimy little thing. Oh, nasty. There we go. Yeah, oh drum. Ah, it looked like a white bass. <laughs> it's a drum. Boy, it had me fooled. It had me fooled. Not the kind I'm after at all. In fact, this is the least kind I would want to catch. I hate drum. Because they always fool you when you're white bass fishing. Alright guys, drum. If that would have been a white bass, it wouldn't have been bad. Limb lines guys, and Wilma got on a largemouth on a black and chartreuse with a pink jig head uh, crappie tube, a little crappie tube. It had her wrapped around the branch, yeah. I told her to quit being fishing that timber like that because she's just going to get hung because she did. But it finally paid off. Can't yell at her no more. Hold on and I'll let me get this sunfish dropped and I'll uh, zoom in on you. Alright folks, we are on number 15 for limb lines. I didn't want to bore you and film the whole thing so I just had the camera off until she hooked that fish. Got about two or three more to set. I'm trying to gain them each time I come. I was at 15 last time. So any more that I make, I'm making headway. Number 15 is in the water with a green sunfish. All right, let me zoom. All right, well caught large mouth on a crappie jig. Black and chartreuse tube. All right, hey, we got something. We got 19 limb lines set out. Now we're heading to the train trestle. I'm just letting the wind blow us. But while it does that, I'm going to toss the uh, black and white crankbait because they can't see it. It's taking us the perfect speed, to be honest. Let's see if I can accidentally hook something on the way down. It's blowing us at a good speed, so. Oh my God, I'm putting one of those on. I'm putting something similar on and I'm gonna add a spinner to it. Wilma caught her second bass, guys. And I'm about to switch because I know they'll see it better. If I put a black crappie jig on. Good job, it's not a monster, but hey, it's promising. It's awesome. <laughs> I don't know which crop box it is. This is the one. The one I'm wanting. See, I'm talking about these. We bought them at Perryville Walmart. Or, uh, what Walmart was that? Perryville? Is when we went to my secret spot. Yeah, Perryville. I looked for these online and can't find them. 
I was wanting to order some. Finally got our first crappie at this place. We've never really fished it during crappie season. Uh, it's a little white crappie. We're in a really big shaded area. And uh, got him. He's about a little six, five, six inch or real plain because the water's so dingy. Plain white. Now he's real dirty. But... Yeah, anyway, a little crappie. What we are using, guys, is B&M. They're two inch multicolored grubs. They're, these are purple, black, and chartreuse. Very good brand. Well, if there was any more here, we scared them now. Again, might have a crappie. Think? Yes, it is. It's a nice one. Nicer. All right, Wilma got her first crappie. We're on a school of them. They're not the school we wish they were, but they're crappie, and that's all that matters. We got a good variety today now so far. White bass, drum, gar, largemouth, and white crappie. Both have been white crappie. Told you that lure would work, just give it a chance. It's basically the same thing, except the tail gives it more action than the regular tube. This just jumped right there in the shallow. Hopper and it took 10 seconds. That thing went completely under, but he's got me wrapped around a stick or something. It's a big cat or something. Uh, and I got my anchor down. Yeah, he's going in circles. I'll have to try to pull this anchor up. Get him. He's pulling real hard though. I think it is a tail. No, I'm pulling myself forward. Dude. It took literally 10 seconds that bobber went like this, completely under. The wind is not cooperating with me at all. He's, he's no, he feels it. There's the stick. It's definitely, a, it's got to be a channel cat. It ain't a small fish because I can feel him pulling real hard. We didn't bring the dip net. All right, folks, we're about to find out just what it is. I got. Oh. No. Yeah, 
yes, he is still on there. I don't know yet. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, I got it untied. A miracle. It was on a big old stick. Feels like a channel, and it's pulling like a channel. It's not a bad sized one either. Oh, yeah. Yes, it is nice. Wow. It's one of those big ones, like from the springtime. Oh, my God. He's going in the bucket. I don't either. I, for I forgot. The dip net is in the car, in the back seat. Oh, my gosh. He's 10 pounds. Whoa. That's a big one. We're going to weigh him, guys, if I get it in. He ain't caught yet. <laughs> oh my. This place always pays. See, worms is the best thing here. Screw lures. You see how quick that was? One minute sitting over there. Not even. No, it's like 10 seconds. He's not tired yet completely. Oh, I gotta get away from this stuff that we've caught out of here on the pole. That is a monstrous channel, guys. I can't even grab him with one hand. No way. Impossible. My gosh. What a hoss. Guys, this has got to be at least eight pounds. But it could be bigger. I got it. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, what a channel, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's just gonna have to stick to my jeans. Oh. All right, guys, this is a good sign that our limb lines are gonna pay off. Just look at the size of that channel. What a loss. Resume. Need to be zoomed. Six pounds, yeah. What a hoss on worm and bobber. Red wiggler and bobber. Is it close up view? Is it good? Or is it far away? It's good. Huh? It's good. Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna get him put back in the bucket. We got a troller back, troller motor back, troll back, and anchor again. So I do want to meet just like. I just caught my first carp in two years. It's a really small one, but hey, it's a carp that adds to our species. We've really gotten a variety today now on a bobber, which is kind of rare for usually a bottom feeder. Little baby carp. Definitely not a bluegill. Big channel again. It just wrapped the line. Big time wrapped. It was wrapped like 10 times. What? How did he get that wrapped up? My goodness. I, would, I just wish I could get a flathead doing this. Oh, you got your worm back in. Alright, folks, I'm on my second channel cat. 
he's wrapped about he was wrapped about 10 times and it, look at that slime all over you gotta let him get tired and snap especially he's wrapped up he's, he's not wrapped anymore all right this is a little guy about a three pounder This is the only spot we can find on the lake out of the wind and they just seem to congregate here. It's too bad we can't get a flat head like this. Slime all up my line, look. Ugh. Slime all over it. I'm trying. Keeper channel. Oh my gosh. I pulled it right out. No plot. It just slid right out. Alright, guys. Not bad. You can tell where that braid wrapped around his center of his body there. It's about a two pounder. It's a little perfect eating size there. Arr, arr, arr. Once again on the red wiggler and bobber. The thing is, I, I've missed about 20 fish, and I keep saying they're blue, but they may not be like on this bottom. We don't really know what they are, and then all of a sudden you'll get a big fish like this. When you're expecting it to be a bluegill, you want to open the bucket, and I'll throw it in. Wilma's on one now. Ooh, it's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, keep him out of them sticks. Keep tension on it. Good job. You got a nice one too. <laughs> if you bring him to me, I'll pull him up for you. Is it a channel? Yeah, channel. He swallowed it. Big time swallowed it. We'll have to cut the line. We'll have to cut the line. I don't think I can even get it with pliers. Guys, we just got back to backs. Hers is real fat. Yeah. Real fat and real colorful. Like a yellowish gold tint to them. Nice channel. Good job. Uh, I might be able to get it. Hold on. Guys, I caught my first bass. I'm a worm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Finally, a half decent one. I knew there can't all be small. I actually want the four mouths, but haven't gotten one yet. There's a lot of them in here, but they only set in certain spots, I guess. They're getting bigger. Look, whoa! A hybrid bluegill! No, wait a minute. No, it's just, just weird colors, but it, it looked like a mix between a... It almost does look like a green sunfish bluegill, but not quite. It's just blue yellow, yeah. It's not a hybrid. That's why I told you, that's why I yelled, because I knew it was a big catfish. Is that what it is? I don't know what you got. Yes, it is. She's got her second big channel cat, guys. No, I don't know. That's a big bass on a worm. Holy cow. That's 
not bad for a, a worm bass, yeah. That's keep we're keeping that. Because there's no limit in Close to 12 inches. That's definitely 14. Let me zoom in on you. Here, hold it up for us before you take it out. Well, we got a nice large mouth for a for a red wiggler anyway, yeah. Man. Boy, this little spot is on fire, guys. We had a good day now. Okay. I know. I knew something was wrong because the catfish would have been pulling more down. <laughs> right when I said that, folks, I just said that we scared all the catfish here and caught them all. Of course, this is the smallest one of the day here. Still not bad. Almost good pounds. They're just so thick in here. lift him up okay you never gave me my pliers back and I definitely need them All right. we're gonna get you off buddy you're not too bad I can see half of my hook my third channel cat he still got spots he's about to lose them he's getting about that big nice little channel Put it back, this one. Okay. Three inches, but it has the belly of a 10 pounder. Blue gill. Three inch large mouth with the belly of a 10 pounder. Catfish or bluegill? All right, Wilma may have a cat here. We don't know yet. All right, she's got her third cat. No, it's a bass again. Man, the bass bite good in here on live bait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, I feel bad now because I told Virgil it was too windy and it's no good, and then. As the evening approached, we started really doing good, guys. Even with the wind, we found we found out we had to experiment for several hours to really start catching fish. We found one little spot where you, it's just a little bay that is not affected by the wind because it's got a, two big trees on the edge of it, and it's blocking the wind out, and you can only get them with live bait. My goodness. So Virgil, I'm sorry, you should have came here, man. I would have gave you your own container of worms and everything. All right, good job, honey. As soon as it hit the water, it's a buffalo. 
It was as soon as it hit the water, guys. I think that's what this is, a big old buffalo. I mean, it didn't even set for two seconds. It didn't even settle. Isn't it a black buffalo or a smallmouth? Yeah, get yours in, get yours out of the way. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, the way it went crazy like that, something a buffalo would do. Is it? Yeah, it is. That damn thing, as soon as it hit the water, guys. You see how fast it bit? Instantly. It's like it was right there. They're not on the bottom like, they're not on the bottom like most catfish. They suspend here. Yeah, that's another, that's another six or seven pounder, guys. Nice male, too. Big, dark male. God. Oh, man. Did you see how crazy he went, though? That, that ain't typical of a catfish. He, he, like, skied across the water and jump sideways <laughs> like, that's why i thought it actually what i meant to say i thought it was was a grass car because it went completely insane i thought i hooked a grass car my oh, gosh here Using tiny bluegill hooks, guys. Not even catfish though. That might be the biggest one of the day so far. I can't even, yeah, you can't grab it with one hand, it's too big around. It is six o'clock. We're going to check the 19 limb line right now. We got a rush, but worst comes to worst, I got a flashlight in here. We have to stay a little bit after dark. 
So we'll be all right. Here we go. We're going full speed ahead, huh? We ain't got time. We should have went a half an hour ago, but we were doing so good, I stayed. When we first got here, guys, we didn't think we were going to get anything. The wind was just real horrible. And as the day went on, we got, we did better and better. We ended up getting carp, crappie, bass, bluegill, and channel cat. Uh, it was a really good day. Crappie were small, but other than that, all of this were pretty decent size. Yeah, them buffalo love it right here in the middle. I don't know if you see. You gotta know if you get a fish. Oh my god! They're everywhere, right here. Big black bubble. For five or six, and finally, we had, well, we had four bare hooks, and we had one with a straightened hook. I could not believe it. And it was a good brand. It was Team Catfish. A Team Catfish hook, and it literally straightened it out. Not completely straight, but bent it enough to where it got off. Finally, we're on line number six here, and there's something definitely on it. There's no way that's the bluegill. There's a fish on here, yeah! Be a flathead. Please be a flathead. Yeah. All right, if there's a fish on here, I'm gonna cut it with the scissors and grab it up and just throw it in the cooler with the line on it. Definitely a fish, man. There's no doubt in my mind. At least I got one. Hopefully bigger than the ones I got, though. Something different. Hope I'm hoping for a flathead. There's no way that's the bait. It wouldn't be swimming that erratic, not the bait after sitting for five hours. Oh yeah. All right guys, we're about to find out here. There's something definitely on there. It's wore down, he's not even excited anymore, but it's, yeah, that's a cat. I'll get it with the. All right, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nice one. Not bad. About a four pounder. So I just cut it. And I can remake it next time. It's because it, if I try to take the hook, well, I can get him in here and then take the hook out. That would be smart. That way I save. Yeah, it's long enough I can get it in the canoe. Boy, he's actually there. Look what he did too, he kind of, he's only five pounds and he kind of started to do what that other one did. That one had to be at least 20. Wow, there's a fungus among us. <laughs> Guys, so far the only limb line with a cat on it. Nice little channel. I say he's four pounds. Oh man. 
It's a nice one though. Nice female. Guys, I don't this ends our trip for the day. All in all, it was an alright day. We got white bass, drum, gar at the first place. Came here, got white crappie, large mouth, carp, channel cats, and bluegill. And uh, if it wasn't for catfish, it would have been a boring day. It would have been very disappointing. Catfish saved the day bobber and worm. I've learned a lot about this place today. I've learned that live bait is the best option. Next time I'm going to come with minnows, at least six dozen of them, and then use worms once they die off. I'll have them as a backup plan. Although lures do work, using live bait is just easier. You don't get hung, and if you do, it's you're just losing a hook. It just makes it that much simpler. Instead of driving around the whole lake over and over, moving with lures. Well, I'm gonna get turned off. I'm getting ate to death by mosquitoes by the hundreds. Hit that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Take care.